let's go over text messages. How do we send a text message and what does it look like? So the text message icon is right next to the phone icon. We're gonna tap on messages. This is what the messaging app looks like and I have a couple of messages that are already in the phone here. A message from T-Mobile, I have a message from Flip and a couple of other messages. So if I ever wanna look at one of these messages, I'm gonna just tap. Now you'll notice some of the messages are in gray and some of them are bold in black. And what that's telling us is that the, the bold messages are messages I have not checked yet. And there's a number next to it so I can see how many messages have come through that I haven't looked at yet. I'm gonna to go to this one. This is an advertisement. It's for code 118 wallets. I'm gonna tap on that. And I can see the message here letting us know that they have a sale and they want me to, to buy a code uh, wallet. Now, when you're all done looking at the message, you'll simply tap on the back button here to get back to the main inbox of your messages. If I wanna send a new message, I'm gonna tap on this little button here. This is the new message button. This is to start a new conversation. And now, I can type in a phone number or I can type in a name of someone who's already in my contacts and it will let me uh, look up their phone number to start a message to them. Let's type in Joe. Now here is the contact that we just saved earlier. That's Joe. We're going to tap on that and then we're going to start a text message to Joe. Now to bring up the keyboard so you can begin the, the conversation, the box where it says text message, you're gonna tap in that box and this will bring up the keyboard. And here you can type your message. Hi Joe. And this is your send button. When you tap this, it will send out the message. Now, there's a lot of other things you can send aside from text. You can tap on this button here this, when you hold down on this, it will let you send a voice message. So instead of typing, hi, Joe, I can hold down on this little wave icon and I can just say, hi, Joe. Hi, Joe, hope you're having a great morning. When you're finished, you let go of the button and then it will attach it as an audio file. So Joe can just tap on the play. Hi, Joe, hope you're having a great morning. And he'll hear my message. I'm gonna send that there and now I just sent a voice message. Now, here you have an emoji icon. This will take you to your emoji menu. Tap on emoji, and you can send one of these little cool emojis in your message, like a cool, send that. Now, if you wanna send them a picture, you need to tap on the plus right next to text message. This will bring up uh, a list of options. You'll wanna tap on um, gallery, or you can send them a GIF, for example. One of those little fun uh, little messages here. Maybe you wanna send this one. You just tap on it, automatically adds it to your message, and then you can send it off just like that. Now, if I hit the plus and I tap on gallery, this will allow me to either take a picture right now by tapping on this little camera button here, if I wanna attach a, a fresh picture, or I can look at pictures that are already saved in my phone. For example, I have these pictures. I can tap on this one here, and it'll automatically attach it to the message. I can also select multiple pictures, and I can send four, you know, up to 10 at one time, depending on the size of the pictures. Once you've tapped on them, you'll see them populate in the message here. You might decide, I don't wanna send them this one. Tap on the X in the upper right corner. That'll remove it. And when you're ready to send it, you can tap on the send button. You can also tap on add text to put some words as well. Check these out. Now, another cool uh, thing you can do at the bottom of the phone, in the bottom left corner is a microphone. If you tap on this microphone, you can use voice to text and this will let you just talk and it will dictate everything you're saying. You'll need to give it permission. You'll tap while using the app here. And when the microphone lights up in blue, that means it's listening and you can begin talking. I saw these and I immediately thought of you. Tap the microphone when you're finished. 
and see it loaded up everything I said in the box there. And now I'm going to tap on this button here to send it off. And it's just attached to those three pictures. You also have some shortcuts at the top of the screen here. If I want to, maybe I'm texting Joe and I just decide, I just want to call him instead. This will be easier to say over the phone. There is a phone shortcut at the top you can tap to just call him immediately. When you're all done, you're going to hit the back button to get out of that message and go back to the inbox of the messaging app here. Let's hit the home button. You'll notice over the text messaging icon, there is a, a red five and that's telling me that I have five unread messages. So whenever you see that, it means it's time to go and check your messages. So that's a brief run through of how to send text messages and just what the interface is going to look like. If you want to watch the full video that this is from, beginner video, check out that link to the left and to the right. You'll find a link to my full playlist with all my other videos. Check out these resources to help you continue learning your phone. Thanks again for watching. Take care and as always, have a good one.